Welcome to another Thomas Talk. Today's review is a not-so-new film by the time we're making this, but The Mystery of Lookout Mountain. Also, thanks for 1,100 subs. One afternoon, Thomas and Percy were getting some deliveries from the old mine. Soon, though, echoes caused the mine to shake and, and take Percy's dirt cards to roll Potentially down. eat them. Right. They roll down the track, and obviously they got destroyed and, like, eaten or something. Uh-huh. They head down the mine to get, or Thomas and Percy head down the mine to get the carts when they start to hear an echo again. But this time, the echo answers back. So they race out of the mine as fast as they can. A wish recycling plant, everyone else besides Connor, is gathered to help recycle when Thomas and Percy race in. Thomas and Percy explain to the others about the mine monster they encounter. Bruno doesn't believe in mine monsters because... Loser. Um, so the rest of the crew say their deliveries have also gone missing anytime they went to the mines. How suspicious. They soon find a danger sign at Lookout Mountain. Whiff explains to the engines that there used to be tunnels under Lookout Mountain. So they create two groups to explore them. The Lookout Mountaineers and the Crave Callers. You can figure out which one's going with. At the maintenance <coughs> yard, Bruno says they have uneven teams. Tom suggests that Bruno for Bruno to come along to make the team even. And they sing a song about adventure and mystery and stuff. Like any all engines go up. So. Yeah. <laughs> the, the lookout mountaineers make it to the lookout mountain and Percy loses his bi- biggest adventure machine because, well, you know, Percy. Yeah. Meanwhile, at the Crystal Mines, the cave crawlers find Percy's dirt cars. And they hear sounds that Thomas and Percy heard earlier, so they decide to follow those sounds. They later find strain markings on the cave walls. Then the troublesome truck appears, because why not? He explained new tunnels are being dug every day. Meanwhile, Lookout Mountain, Thomas takes Bruno someplace quiet. Hashtag away from Percy. By a nice phone call. (laughs) Then Bruno sees cracks on the other side of the waterfall, because you know Bruno. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So they head in. And soon the two groups meet and find each other, proving the minds are connected. Then they also find Percy's biggest adventure machine, thanks to its bright red light. But next, but next to it is the mind monster. The engines start running like crazy, all getting confused, all crashing into each other, going after him. Neil Haver stops at the turntable, and as everyone goes through, waits to pull out the mind monster. Soon, Nia and the Mind Monster head out, and Nia explains everything to the Mind Monster. The Mind Monster is actually a drill named Darcy. She was assigned a long time ago, hundreds of years ago, to build tunnels from the mine, but they kept collapsing, so the Fat Controller stopped operations in the mine and closed Lookout Mountain due to unable to produce strong enough beams that could hold the tunnels. So they abandoned Lookout Mountain and closed it, but... Of course, didn't tell Darcy. They forgot about Darcy. <laughs> which is like every boss should do that. Now, the biggest adventure club has solved their mystery. Now they have one last job to do. They go to Whiff's and turn all his recycled metal into steel beams, and they help Darcy finally complete the Lookout Mountain Mines. All right. All right, so... I want to mention how this is literally an episode stretched out into a movie. Um, I and mean, we can say Mattel's also done this before with King of the Railway, so. Yeah, but like, <laughs> this is all in Finn's go, which makes it even worse. Um, but I mean, honestly, for an episode, this would be a really good episode. Yeah. But for a movie, I want something more action packed. I want something like more, Race for the Soviet Yeah, Soviet. like. That, or you could do a Detective Edward. <laughs> Not that they'll Shut ever up. do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or something with Henry. But, like, these are personal things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More realistic would be something like... Like, this was supposed to be All Engines Goes, um, Blue Mountain Mystery. And, and it did it, not live up to that in this life. But at the same time, this is definitely what I picture Blue Mountain Mystery if it was this. Maybe. Maybe uh, just not with got Darcy. A, Maybe with, like, an actually good character. That's the thing. Mattel's marketing for our 2023 times 
Darcy, everyone knew Darcy was going to be in this movie. This was her return. It was advertised everywhere. So the mystery, when they show off this black figure that looks like Darcy, everyone knew it was Darcy, and it took the whole lot away, <laughs> because you could tell immediately it was Darcy. I will mention, <coughs> though, the plot is pretty funny. Or, I guess it would be the characters. The characters. The the character interactions are really good. Like how they all somehow can convince each other that a mind monster ate dirt cars. And spit them out. And spit <laughs> them out. And they have no saliva. And they're just fine. You know, because my monster. Because six-year-olds. My monster. Yeah. I believe there's my monster, personally. I mean, personally, there's definitely a mind monster, obviously. But yeah, the, the plot was kind of bland. It... it I don't know. Bob was bland, but character... There's a lot of funny moments. Like, Darcy's like, Hey, Diesel, I think I remember your voice. You were really, really scared. That, yeah, that, that And was... he was like, No, I wasn't. No, no, it was definitely you. You were terrified. <laughs> <laughs> See, there, there's funny parts, but it comes from the characters, not in the plot. Yeah, and the those funny parts, though, are... Bruno. Bruno. Any Bruno part can be hilarious. Bruno's like... Wait, if you didn't get the dirt, then they can't grow the crops. And if they can't grow the crops, then the people are going to starve. And if the people starve, they're going to die. And if they die, then we won't get our coal. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the part where Bruno has his drug breakdown. Yeah, when Percy just starts going crazy and he's just like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> Hallucinating. Which, yeah, he just started going. Like, there's going to be memes where they put, uh, like, joint in his mouth. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Internet, don't take Grant's idea. Take my idea and <laughs> no. do it. Okay. It's funny. <laughs> and it makes so, me so mad. Grant. Thanks once again for 1,100 subscribers and for watching the video. Also want to thank Aiden for helping me write the script because I was really tired and didn't want to. <laughs> and if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, then. Like, comment, and subscribe.